<laughs> How's everybody doing? Well, you caught me by surprise, but guys, I'm not at home. I'm in a Palm West Palm Beach in a, in a town called Lake Worth. I'm staying with some wonderful, loving hosts that are there uh, making sure that uh, I'm, I'm doing okay. You know, here I am doing the conference in South Beach. The weather here is wonderful, it's beautiful. You know, uh, thank you guys. I hope you guys can come to the um, the seminar, the conference that I have in South Beach. So for those of you who are in the Fort Lauderdale, Fort Worth, South Beach, uh, 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 Fort Lauderdale, Miami area, I'm going to be doing the conference there on Friday. I believe it's Friday or Saturday. I gotta uh, check my management team. So I will be doing it there. I, I, I guess you guys saw the videos, right? Good, that's excellent. I hope to see you there. And then I will be in Tampa, Florida. I will be in Tampa, Florida, uh, doing another seminar there as well, and as well as Orlando. So, I'm gonna, so I've decided to stay in Florida for about two months and do my videos from down here to give you guys the, the availability to meet me and also do readings. So if you want a reading, you can call me 347 485 because I'm in the Florida area. Either you call me or you come over where I'm at at Fort Worth, okay? Now, let's go into uh, the, uh, the in-between cusper uh, degree ascendant. We are doing today Taurus and Aries, the god of war, the ram with Taurus. The eternal sensualist. When you have them together, what do you have? You have the sensualist. But you also have, in addition to the sensualist, you have the silent killer. For this combination of earth, of earth and fire is one that causes a host of combinations, a, a plethora of, of, of possibilities. But before I tell you what they are, I've got to introduce you to this lovely cocktail, a, a, a delicious, delicious fruit cocktail with the bananas and, and the grapes and the strawberries infused with vodka and a little taste of lime. Mmm, it's delicious, delicious. Mm. Oh, I forgot the best part. It has the honeycomb with honey. Oh, to die for. You're not going to have to go to the gym the next day to work this bitch out. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Thank you for donating and for giving generously. I've been able to cover my expenses, book the hotel, book everything, but more money is needed. So keep it coming, keep it flowing. Thank you. And I have a gift for all 30,000 subscribers for uh, Christmas. Guess what I'm going to do for y'all? I'm going to put out there five videos of my occult classes. Yes, and I'm going to leave it up there for a month for you. That's my gift to you for, my, uh, for Christmas. All 30,000 subscribers get to see my class videos. All five videos. That's a $550 value. That's my Christmas gift for you guys. So you all better donate to my PayPal page. You all know. Because Uncle Fernando got to be all right while we're down here. Right? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to make up for the announcement in time by extending the uh, time that I have to discuss this in-between cusp of sentence of Taurus and Aries. So we're going to go into it right now. One thing that you have to understand when you are born with Taurus and Aries in the in-between cuspal ascendant is that you have a mortaring, simmering, pulsating, throbbing, <laughs> rhythmic explosion of subtle movement and sensuality. When it's coupled with the god of sexuality, the god of war, 
the God of conquest, you have a simmering of the forces of earth and fire. Think about it like a volcano. The volcano is earth, but the fire and magma that comes out of the volcano is cardinal fire. The divine spark and fire of Aries. When you're born with Taurus and Aries in the in-between cusp of ascendant. Mm. Oh, it's so good. It's so good I can vomit. So, you don't mind I, you know, turn on my spliff. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when you're born with this in-between cusp of uh, ascending degree of Taurus and Aries? Well, you have someone that has body. Body. And if he has, if he doesn't or she, they should. It is an iron wrecking machine. People born with this type of uh, machinery, because that's what you have to call it. It's a machinery of an armor. When you're born with that kind of machinery and armor, talking on the physical side, you're talking about a, a personality that can withstand any kind of pain, can withstand any kind of um, physical assault on the body. People born with the Aries, Taurus, in between cuspal ascendant should be sports people, people involved in sports people involved in the military, people whose bodies becomes the, the badge in which they can bring some kind of uh, influence and effect here on this plane. Understand that on, on, on one aggressive side, we have that kind of um, body that has to withstand a certain degree of strength and assault that will help polish the soul. Most people that are born with, with, with this in-between cuspal ascendant have a beauty of sensuality that they themselves don't even tap into or are psychologically unaware of. Many of these people are natural sensualists that are born with the capacity to heal. These are your massage therapists, those who, who do the laying of the hands, or even those who can be exercise gurus or exercise fitness instructors. You know, these people could not fucking ruin this body if they wanted to. Because when you're born with the in-between cusp of Taurus and Aries, you are dealing with the youthfulness of the divine body. The divine youthfulness of the spirit expressed in physical matter, in material matter. No. So the younger, the healthier, the physical body, that's an indication of the beauty and health of the soul when you're born with Aries and Taurus in between cusp of the ascendant. Oh, you know I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to let it rub because it's so good. I'm just being very nice about it. <laughs> Let me light my split, you know? Oh, God, it's too short. I gotta get a little longer one. Uh -uh. Now, I have to admit that this combination of Aries and Taurus and in the in-between cuspal ascendant is different psychologically when it's in a woman's chart than it is with a man's chart. In a woman's chart, she can be coy, sexy, giddy, sensual, and you can see the fiery nature of Aerie and how she makes up her hair. Maybe she might wear red lipstick, have a dress that's provocative or red. No matter how you look at it, you're going to see the signature of Aries in that wardrobe or in the makeup of that woman or man. But when it comes to the man exclusively, he might wear a red shirt or red pants or underwear or, or, or sneakers that are red. There's always going to be an indication of the color red with this combination. But then again, it should be of no surprise to you because Taurus also is associated with red. 
Don't forget that the constellation of Aldebaran has a star, a red star. The red star of Aldebaran sits at the horn and the constellation of Taurus. Okay? So red is very, 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 very associated with Taurus, even though it belongs to Aries, the red fire of the cardinal seas of heaven. This pulls from the opposite polarity of Scorpio. The constellation of Scorpio has Antares as the red star that sits on the tail of the constellation of Scorpio. Here we see the dynamic of the opposite polarity of Taurus. So don't get it twisted. If you're born with this in between cusp of degree ascending of Taurus and Aries, understand that you're going to have a fiery nature to you that knows no bounds. And then with Taurus, you're done. But this is true of both Taurus man and Taurus woman or Aries when you are born with this in between cusp of ascendant. Oh, the beat. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas. It's okay to you know indulge a little bit. Why not? <laughs> well, what does this what what does this have to do when we're dealing with um, the context of a relationship? How, let's say, does a woman with this in-between cusp of uh, degree signature of Aries and Taurus and this center, how will she relate to men in an intimate level? Well, one thing I have to say, that if you are a woman with this in-between cusp of degree and the ascendant, the man has to be receptive, have to be loving, have to be receptive, and, and, and know how to use their hands. You know, how to use their hands and how to caress and kiss. You know, okay. So, um, intimacy and the slowness of intimacy. These men and women. No, what? Let me look. Talking about sensuality and delicacy, look at this flower here, this rose. This beautiful rose, which is both the symbol of Aries and of Taurus. And it's red for a reason, yet it comes from the earth of, of Taurus. And of course, here's the red again in the stones of nature. The first kingdom to ever arise before humans walk the earth. Understand that the strength of Taurus is unmeasurable and the strength of Aries is unstoppable. So when you put the two together, you have something that's close to God. It is exhumable amount of strength, coupled with sensitivity and deep sensuality. This is the evidence that you see in a woman with this combination as she walks down the street with beautiful curves and she sways. Her gait is swift and wonderful and delicate and refined. The same can be said of the male with this combination, with Aries and Taurus and the in-between cuspal ascendant. The aggression, the, uh, put my hat somewhere if we can hold, there we go. Well, you know, well, you know. Understand that with a man, in a man's chart, this combination does not come across quite the same way as it does in a woman's chart. He's more boyish, reckless, irresponsible. It is not the quite vibration 
of uh, acceptance and agreeableness or even invitation. Because you are, when you are born with this in-between cusp of degree of Aries and Taurus on the ascendant and you're a woman, it is more inviting, more seductive, a pleasure to be around. But when you're dealing with a man that has this same signature, the reception is not warm at all. It's quite hostile and contemptuous. You know, here we see the bull charging forward with the horns, or we see Aries ready to strike, holding the sword above his head, ready to strike. You know, cardinal fire. So with the men, this combination can be quite problematic. It does a little for warm intimacy and interpersonal relationships. Here, we have to rely on the age and experience of the person, particularly the male, who has this combination of Aries and Taurus and the in-between in cusp of ascendant. Okay? Understand. One second, please. One second. How much time I have left? 14 more minutes? Okay. Because I'm not at home, understand that uh, I have to, I have a people that are directing me, you know, how much I have left. So, uh, let's break the different compartment of this combination of Aries and Taurus on the in-between cuspal ascendants, right? Let us discuss what that is or what that means. One second, please. How much more time do I have left? Nine minutes. Nine minutes before mm -hmm. we reach 25. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Here, we're going to uh, go into the actual uh, Taurus and Aries on the ascendants. So you are now... That I have to do this being on okay on the computer. Well, let me tell you one aspect that I didn't mention with this in between cusper degree ascendant of Aries and Taurus is that most people born with this degree signature on the ascendant are old souls. You've been in the wheel of rebirth here many, many times. And there is a, an air of refinement, an air of class, of beauty, of old knowledge, due through a multiplicity of lifetimes of experiences. For example, I will, uh, this drink is Aries, you know? And we can have all kinds of cocktails, hey, you know, blah, blah, blah. The baby! But when we deal with Taurus, fixed earth, we deal with a grounding of forces, a grounding of energies. No different than having a glass of wine. What does it say about men and women? Well, particularly about men. Men, as we get older, we are better looking. We age like fine wine, classy, refined, and with taste. So those of us born on the in-between cusp of degree on the ascendant of Aries and Taurus are quite refined connoisseurs of the most delicious wines and cheese, food, the culinary arts. Those of you born with this in the in-between cusp with degree ascendant of Aries and Taurus can make excellent chefs, excellent connoisseurs of wine, excellent designers, fashion designers, interior decorators, you can be great models. It is a signature of absolute beauty and sensuality. Okay? Understand that. 
when you are born in the in-between cusp of Taurus and Aries and the Ascendant. Mm. Cha cha cha, one of my favorites. German. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. You know. Pasuko, para bailar, para gozar, mi cha cha cha. <laughs> Understand that when you have Aries and Taurus in the in between cusp of degree ascendant and you are a man. You have the gift of being the most consummate designer. For some reason, there are more men born with this degree signature on the ascendant of Aries and Taurus that are designers more than women. But when you are born with this as a woman, you can be a party hostess, an event planner, or someone who just naturally likes to entertain and have family members around, but be very, very protective of those who are non-family members. So understand that this is a very protective signature. Guys, it is a blessing, an absolute blessing to have this in degree cuspo signature. Now, what does this mean, y'all, when it comes to attract a partner, both as a man or as a woman? Well, I'll tell you. You have to be able to, with this degree cusp signature on the ascendant, happiness comes a lot later in life. There are so many impulses and instincts that have to be put under control when you're born with this signature, that it's gonna take the test of time and maturity for you to grow up and be able to integrate it. This is absolutely true when you're reaching age 30, okay? Guys, um, we're almost done with this um, signature. Please make sure to donate. PayPal.me slash astrologer.com. I will have much more coming. And guys, please come to the conference if you're in the greater uh, South Beach uh, about the South Beach area <laughs> for the conference that I will be having at this um I believe it's Saturday or Friday. You know, I'll, I'll keep you with further details. Guys, thank you very much. And we're done with this combination. <laughs>